Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, shows MSI BioScreen, which is for MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon Max Wi-Fi. Such a big title, I don't know why they choose it. Anyway, this motherboard does have B450 chipset. Now, because of this is brand new PC, I just built it. I'm going to show you how to install the Windows system from a bootable USB thumb drive. Okay, so this one in legacy format I have, but it does work for both environment. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot and reinstall the Windows. At the same time, briefly, I will try to point out all the highlighted features and options how you can enable and disable and what would happen if we leave it enabled or disabled okay so first is first what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna connect my USB which is in right here once it connected and then let's say my PC is completely turned off okay so example I left the USB connected keyboard also connected power is on now I'm gonna press the power button and immediately I will come back to F11 or delete button because for MSI Gaming Pro Carbon Max Wi-Fi motherboard has two key features one of them if you press F11 it would take you directly to the temporary boot priority option and if you keep pressing delete then it's going to give you the complete BIOS page okay so I'm going to press the power button at the same time I'm going to press delete as you can see I'm going to keep pressing it all right so once I was keep pressing delete button it gave me that page all right by the way this motherboard has two options one of them easy mode as you can see it says advanced advanced mode so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select easy mode first okay so go to advanced and you can either click with the mouse or you can press F7 to change it as you can see once I press F7 it goes to advanced second time when I do it goes to easy mode okay so from here you can see more other option as well okay. I did speak a lot now I'm going to show you okay so if you click on settings from here if you go to advanced from advanced option you can go to USB configuration hit enter make sure your legacy USB support is enabled otherwise you would not be able to reinstall or install anything from the bootable USB drive so as you can see this is already enabled so I'm gonna hit enter and again I'm gonna press escape now the second most important things is to go back to the boot option press escape again from here go to boot once you hit enter then you can find few important options and boot priority as you can see those are boot priority option now from here I'm going to go back to boot mode select okay so as you can see the boot mode select is legacy plus UEFI I'm going to keep it like that because if you leave it only UEFI that's not going to give you enough opportunity to reinstall the windows from a legacy format okay I don't know if you're able to see or not, but that's the one. So I'm going to choose both of them, which is already selected, as you can see now. And now, from the boot priority option, I'm going to change it to my, I'm going to choose my bootable USB drive is the first choice. So go down with the down arrow like that and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can see such a big list of the boot priority option. So now from here, I'm going to go back to my Kingstone Data Traveler and I'm going to hit enter. So now, as you can see, it says 
it says USB key is the first priority. So now pretty much that's all. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to exit and once I exit and then system can recognize the bootable USB drive is the first choice and then it will try to boot it up from the USB drive. So let's press F10 and see what happened. Okay. I'm going to say yes. I would like to change it. And now it's going to restart and hopefully you would be able to see the Windows logo and Windows setup page. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Don't be confused. It's coming up. Something is spinning there. Here you go. As you can see the Windows installation page. Now from here you can choose whatever you want to choose. And everything will be back to normal. All right, so that's how you reinstall or install the Windows on MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon Max Wi Fi motherboard. Okay, so before I get into USB board, I will show you some other features from here. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, the board explorer. So what would happen if you click here, this BIOS has a features that you can see all the different components from the motherboard. Example, if I hit enter or if I click with the mouse, it's going to give you an illustration of the board. So example, if you leave your mouse right next to it, it's going to show you the picture. As you can see, now all the red highlighted option if you leave your mouse they're going to tell you what is it so example this is a uh, usb 3.1 second generation or 3.1 this is 3.1 and this is the one it says ddr4 ram slot and this is the one it says md ryzen 5 processor in there if i click in here it's going to say the cpu power connector as you can see again if you press escape it's going to take you to the main screen Okay, from here also you can go to hardware monitor to check the fan, the temperature, about the chipset and all other information. That's the thing. Okay, so now if you want to flash your motherboard, then M flash option would help, which is right bottom one. And then OC for overclocking. This is for hardware monitoring, as I told you, to monitor the hardware, chipset, fan, everything. And OC profile also is going to tell you. And as you can see this bar, it says boot priority. And then you can see such a little arrow sign here from left to right. So that's mean which one at the left, that would be the first priority. Then second one would be the second priority. And third one would be the third priority. It will go down in that way. But what about at the left? That would be the first priority. Fine. And also from the top, as you can see, it says my CPU. It says how much memory I have. Vehicle, how many bolt it is. DDR voltage, how much power consumption is taking and everything. And also the motherboard details also it says on the top. So this is kind of a description about the board. Now, the most important part is if you go to the left, you can see there is an option called Game Boost. Okay, so as you can see, it says off. That means this is turned off. Now, if you click it on, it's going to be on, and you can hear the fan noise spinning faster and make little bit of noise. So that means your fan speed goes up. And your motherboard is ready to give you full speed and full strength so we're going to test it now i'm going to be quiet so hopefully you can hear the noise as you can hear the fan speed gone up now i don't need it so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn it off all right 
it says CPU temperature as you can see is now going down it was 41 degree now it goes back to 40 degrees Celsius and motherboard temperature is 37 okay because the fan is spinning more so that's mean the fan is blown more cooled air to the actual core to make it cool all right as you can see it went to 37 39 so 2 degree already down within few seconds is going to go down more this one also keep changing but anyway let's stick to our usb boot option okay still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i will try my best to reply as soon as possible thank you so much for watching guys i hope i will see you in the next video bye for now